Incorporated in 1953, the town of Kittleville Hills has grown to be one of the largest municipalities in the Outer Banks. As the town has grown over time, the town's land use plan was established to standardize development and growth. One tool used by the town since 2007 to measure density for commercial structures on the oceanfront is the Floor Area Ratio, or FAR. Let's take a look at FAR. The Floor Area Ratio is an effective way to control bulk of a structure and does not interfere and gives flexibility to interior design. The floor area ratio currently applies to properties east of the beach road only. Floor area ratio applies when a developer would like to build a new structure or substantially improve an existing structure. It does not apply when a fire or a storm would destroy a structure. Floor area ratio does not currently apply to one and two family dwellings. The floor area ratio came about in 2007 as a result of a zoning request and the Board of Commissioners heard the request through the Planning Board had public hearing and was adopted at point six and from there the Community Appearance Commission recently took up the issue of floor area ratio and asked the commissioners, the Board of Commissioners, to take a look at it and see if there was something that might need to be adjusted. They weren't quite happy with the, the appearance of some of these newer structures and some of the old ones. And with that, the Community Appearance Commission and Planning Board held a workshop. They came up with a recommendation to lower the floor area ratio to 0.4 with some incentives to go up to 0.5. A joint work session will be held in the meeting room at Town Hall on February 3rd at 5.30 p.m. In that meeting, the Board of Commissioners will join the Planning Board and the Community Appearance Commission to discuss a proposed amendment to Chapter 153 zoning, which would lower the FAR ratio from 0.6 to 0.4. My fellow board members and I encourage everyone to participate and share their thoughts on important town issues. You can join us at the meetings, which are open to the public, or you are welcome to email me or my fellow board members. Our email addresses can be found on the town's website at kdhnc.com.